Good evening, witches. So here we are again at the end of my day, which is the beginning of most of yours. Hmm. That night out alive. So, again, out here burning off my negativity for the day. And I've been thinking all night about today's topic, which is ghosts. Let's see, dating myself here. We'll say many, many moons ago, before ghost hunting TV shows were all the rage on television, I too was a ghost hunter here locally, and I've even been on television. We used to have a website, and we would talk to other websites. And one of the websites we used to talk about, we used to talk to all the time, had somebody named Grant on it. They were from the East Coast. They were, I believe it's plumbers. Uh, anyone know the TV show I'm talking about? Anyway, they were really cool. And in fact, somewhere I even still have the graphic of uh, we used to give each other little awards for our websites and our hunts and stuff. And I, I'm, I, I have a, an award sitting in a file somewhere from um, the Ghost Hunters. So, yeah. Back when there wasn't that many of us, and we were scattered few and far between. Ah, is it even possible to be a witch and, and not believe in the supernatural and ghosts? Uh, I, I always have. My other half, he's more skeptic. But he's seen things since we started doing what we did ages ago that has made him question. Um, they always say, you know, you get the activity when wherever you are is the, the basis of a um, yeah, burial grounds, graveyard, etc. I postulate, especially here in what you could call ye olde west, uh, every place is a burial ground. Every bit of land is sacred everywhere so of course and yes you have the spirits that can't move on that stick around that are stuck in a loop that are aware that aren't aware there's so many categories so many things and i believe also animal spirits too when you know when our familiars pass on they're always with us not only do their traits i think appear in other animals that come into our lives or are in our lives but i believe that there are spirits themselves are here always you know uh who amongst us hasn't been startled awake because you heard someone shout your name but nobody did or like what just happened to me a bit ago felt someone tap on my arm nobody's around but yet you know they are I'm one of those people that I can't see, I don't know how to describe it, I don't see the ghosts, but I can feel them, I'll get what I would call interference in my mind, because you know, we always protect ourselves, we always have our, our own little wards up, so I'll get static, I'll, I'll get, whoa. It's like a very focalized, on a certain point in my head, headache, and when we used to hunt, I would be like, hey, take pictures over here, or take pictures over there, where I would get this feeling, and we would have some sort of phenomena show up on, in pictures, or in film, or sound, even. So, yeah, I mean, we still have to wall ourselves up so we don't bring anything home with us, but... For a lot of us, our homes are where some of this is. And I can hear a cat crawling on a screen door. Get down. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's just our, our nature is more open-minded that we believe or we experience, we hear what we do, when we do. And maybe because we have at least two times of the year where the veil between the living and the dead is extremely thin. And they come through even louder then. I don't know. Not so much at this house, but the house I lived in before this one. There was a lady in the backyard. And the first time I told my other half about that, it happened to be the house he grew up in. He 
was flabbergasted because when he was a kid, he always thought he saw a lady in the backyard. And his parents, you know, oh, you're imagining it, or this or that, or shadows. No. Uh, so I said, okay, well, let's, let's let the lady go home. And we went outside, and I sat down, and I basically, you know, said, it's okay. Uh, everybody here is protected. Um, you can go. And we didn't see her after that. So, do I believe there are bad spirits? I don't intrinsically believe in evil. I don't think any of us does in that fashion. Um, you know, good and evil are... At least, you know, the devil and all that stuff. That's, you know, a Christian concept. I believe when it comes to spirits and ghosts and things like that, there are bad people alive. Therefore, when they pass... I believe they can still be bad people. So in that aspect, yes, there can be malevolence out there. Malevolence, but mm -hmm. bad people. <laughs> um, we never really encountered anything violent ourselves. I mean, even we have a prison here that's really, 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 really old. And, you know, the... The tales that go with it, especially this time of year, of you know, don't wear red in the solitary cell, you'll get pinched and things like that, because you know, bad guys are in jail, right? I still, I didn't even get that kind of a, a vibe from it. So maybe I'm lucky. Maybe I have a healthy, <laughs> a healthy disassociation. Uh, I've never been one that would watch horror movies because I could never... I always wanted to know why. Why were the bad guys the way that they were? You know, so I, I never got spooked or scared from any of that. So I don't know. I can't specifically remember anything from when I was a child that would have led me in that direction. I, Growing up, I lived down the street from a cemetery. I used to talk to it when I would walk to school every day. Didn't think anything weird about that. I don't know. I have rambled on quite a bit today. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, ghosts. The, the too long did not read part of it is, yeah, I believe. I think they're all around us. Whether they're aware of us or not, I don't know. But they're always here. We share the realm. Especially this time of year. So... That's all for tonight, which is blessed be.